Hi, my name is Jenna. I'm here from Camosun Fitness and Recreation and today we're going to be talking about hydration and the benefits of being well hydrated and what it can do for you and some things that you can do throughout the day to increase your body's level of hydration. So first of all, increasing your amount of water in a day will help with temperature regulation, um, it'll help with your cellular functions and your metabolic processes and we'll just keep it quite simple from that perspective. When you're well hydrated, it can increase your levels of concentration, it can increase your energy levels, it can also increase your, your flexibility, so it'll help enhance your, your stretching and your exercise, it can enhance digestion, it can help you sleep better, and it can decrease overall inflammation. One important thing to know is that what we have as well is what's called the glymphatic system, which is an extension of the lymphatic system, but it only works with the brain in terms of flushing out waste products from the brain. And 60% of this happens while you're sleeping. So it's really important to also get good quality sleep that will also help to keep your brain hydrated and complete all those processes by the morning. Now, there's a few things that you can do outside of drinking water. So one of them is getting a regular massage. If you're not able to get a regular massage, you can also do some self-massage or some foam rolling. And the benefit of that is it helps to move the fluids through your fascia system. And your fascia actually helps to keep your uh, muscles and your other tissues well hydrated. Um, you can do basic movement, which we're going to get to in a minute. Increasing your posture, so being really aware of your posture. Posture is a dynamic movement, and that will also help pump fluid through your fascial system. So a tiny thing that you can do throughout the day to increase your posture. And we'll be talking about some posture in another video. What you want to do um, also with posture is it increases your ability to breathe better which will decrease inflammation in through your digestive system and your organs as well. So as you're standing nice and tall, you get to move your ribs a little bit better, your diaphragm moves a little bit better, and you have a little bit of a, a massage through your organ system, which also helps to increase the hydration. Now some tips that you can do, you can drink 8 to 16 ounces of lemon water with a pinch of a little bit of salt first thing in the morning helps to sort of hydrate the whole system. 6 to 8 ounces before every meal. And also, if you're increasing your fruits and vegetable quantity throughout the day and also increasing those um, water, the, those vegetables that, and fruits that have higher water content. So your cucumber and your lettuce, your berries, those kinds of things. So now we're going to get into micro movements. What can you do throughout the day? What are micro movements? So this isn't necessarily, you know, rehabilitation or fitness. You don't have to jump up and run around. It's small little movements that kind of squeeze the fascia and help to kind of push that water in through the cells. So the first thing that you can do, you can do this laying in bed before you even get out of bed in the morning, or you can do this seated, or you can do this standing throughout the day. It's very simple, just a chin to the chest, but you're going to hold here and you're going to hold for two breaths and then you're going to slowly come up and then you're going to do that again three times for that one. So small little movement. Next you can do a spinal movement. So you're going to bring your arms out, palms up, and then you're going to twist. And again, you can do the seated or standing and then you're going to rotate, thumbs up and down a couple of times and then over to the other side. So that will be one repetition. You're going to want to do that three times. So next up, you can do a seated cat-cow. So if you're at your desk, you can have a seat. And then you're going to go into your cat. And then you can go into your cow, just like that. And you're going to breathe nice and slow through each gentle movement. And then outside of that, you can also do this uh, laying down or standing. It's a nice, big, full body stretch. So going all the way up, you can go all the way out. You can do this in bed as well. And those are your micro movements. So 
I hope you enjoy this short little video on how you can increase hydration and you can increase your micro movements throughout the day.